Hello everyone and many thanks for your interest. I want to show you some of the weapons that I use on my practice. Um, on this table I got the blade weapons, the, the broadsword. Um, it is a flexible type and um, useful to practice um, skills that require flexibility to develop your wrist flexibility and shoulder and arm and swinging techniques as well. Um, safe to, to practice with, you still have to be very careful though. Um, this one is the most solid one, rock solid. Um, you develop power and strength by practicing with them. So yeah, ideally you combine, you know, practicing with both types to develop both flexibility and power. Here is the Tai Chi sword, uh, the flexible type. Um, come, you got a case for it. I got a couple of those. Actually, I got three of those. To practice your Tai Chi routines safely. Yeah, so that's the that's the blade weapons. Um, here is the nunchakus, the chained weapons. This is the form one, very safe to play with to practice with. Then you got the chained, uh, also padded one. Again, safe to practice with. Um, and once you familiarize with the techniques, then you can move on to the heavy one, which is rock solid. Three sectional, you know, three sections joined by the chain, the lighter version and the heavier version. Uh, with the intersectional you have to be very cautious because the loose ends can hit you if you're not careful. So practice with the lighter one and then move on to the heavier one. The long stuff. This one is the rattan one which is quite quite good. And also the um, the Kali sticks made of rattan. The long handle blade Chinese weapons that I practice, the Pu Dao and also the Monk's Fate. Two different ends, two different applications for it. The, the chain whip, nine section chain whip, very very powerful weapon. Yeah, so you got all these strange weapons and uh, the question is how practical is to use these weapons in a self-defense scenario because you're not allowed to carry these weapons, they, they, they banned uh, in the UK and in many countries. You, it's, it's not possible to carry, you'll be stopped by the police and you'll be arrested basically and your weapons taken away. So is there any use in practicing with these weapons? The answer uh, for me is yes, because if you practice in a hole and you're working on a, on the skills that you can develop practicing these weapons, you know the flexibility of the wrist, your footwork, you know your stances, um, the swinging techniques, coordination, and the use of energy while practicing Tai Chi as well, uh, you know extending your energy to the weapon. So there is there is application for this in a in a real life situation, not necessarily using the weapons because you you won't be allowed to carry this. But if you are in a self defense situation and say you you know get hold of a stick which is on the road uh, with a stick, uh, a broomstick for example or an umbrella, you can still use or the skills that you that you develop by practicing in the hall with these weapons, you can actually transfer that to a real fight scenario where your life is at stake. Now, m my quest is basically try to get something practical out of the techniques that you practice with these weapons. You know, the forms, what is really applicable in a life, in a, in a, in a life situation. You know, as I said, you're not allowed to carry them, 
but the skills that you develop you can transfer them onto you know using a stick a broomstick or you know a piece of wood or whatever an umbrella but in reality you know how much you can get out of those forms because you see a lot of flashy stuff on on the internet a lot of chinese flying around with all these um you know weapons and doing so many things in the air but is 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 this really relevant in a situation in a, in a fight in a fight situation i mean would you be able to use those acrobatics i mean nowadays you know firearms you know you do one of those acrobatics and you get caught with a bullet in midair right so you know how can i get something out of the the skills that you develop by training um with these weapons and transfer that to, an, a, a, to, a, to a life situation, to a self-defense situation. And that's what exactly what I'm trying to do with my videos, you know, to show you some, 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 some techniques that I feel are apli applicable. I mean, you, you won't be able to carry a monk spade on the streets, it's, it's, it's impossible. The chain whip, for example, is, is a weapon that you can conceal. Uh, you still be breaking the law, I guess, if you carry them, uh, you know, you can put it as a belt. Very conceal. Uh, concealable weapon and very very powerful very one of the weapons the most powerful weapon that I come across uh, you know while training I mean the, the Kali sticks as well is something that you can carry in a little case and perhaps not breaking the law because you know it could it could be like you carry in a you know a snooker sticks so uh, you know Kali sticks are probably safe safer to carry and it's still very powerful um, to protect yourself. Uh, the question mark is, are you breaking the law by carrying the, the Kali? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, chain whip, certainly, long range, long range weapons like the Buddha or the Monk Spade, you don't see anyone carry these on the streets. You don't see anyone carry a trisectional uh, or even nunchakus. So, you know, really, what's the application? The skills that you get by swinging them, the flexibility, yes, you can transfer them across. As I explained before, but play weapons. You, know, you practice them to, to go when you go to the hall. I mean, and you have they have to be in a case. I mean, once I was in a in a, in a park practicing with a wooden sword, and uh, and I was stopped by the police. Uh, another day, I was actually practicing with a blade in a, in a in a in a quiet park. But someone called the police. Probably say, look, there is a this crazy man swinging a, a sword around. Him approached me and, and maybe arrested me and I said look you know I got my credentials you know I practice this and that so I'm just doing this to you know to, to, for, for health purposes and for you know stay in shape but anyway uh, there is no no excuse for you to, to carry these weapons around because there is a lot of crazy people out there a lot of terrorism so uh, you know uh, in the eyes of the law obviously they don't know who you are and obviously they need to find out and, and prevent uh, you know these weapons um, being acquired by someone who is not mentally fit uh, to, to, to practice with them. Yeah, so yes, um, the videos that you see in my channel are basically straight to the point videos. Um, you see me training, practicing with these weapons and I'll be showing more videos with a broadsword and all the weapons that you see here. Um, obviously, I'm not doing acrobatics. I mean, that's something that I could do when I was younger, uh, but 40, 40 years ago, I'm approaching 58. So, uh, you know, and, and I don't see the practicality of these acrobatics in a real life situation, you know, so, uh, to save, to preserve you, your life and your family's life. I don't see the practicality. I mean, when, when you are in a, in a, in a fighting situation, you go, you have to go straight to the point. You have to disarm your opponent. If you if you start doing all this fancy stuff and you fall on the floor and you don't know grappling techniques, then you're dead. If you can't fight on the floor, um, no one is carrying a trisection on the floor, you know, the long staff and chakras. So um, I'm just trying to to grab out of this weapon something which is practical in the event that you have to use them somewhere. Thanks for watching. Bye.